So this is my suggestion to you. I don't care how electronic you might be. I think this is beneficial to you. Why? Because it buys you time. So create a binder and label it survey. Survey preparation, survey binder, I don't care what you call it, or survey something, okay? And so that way, anybody with designated authority should be able to start that survey. So let's say that your administrator or you, even your clinical manager, maybe they're both at a conference. Well, if you're a Medicare agency, you better have an alternate, all right? And they should be able to start that survey. I've even seen well-run agencies where the clinical or not even the clinical person, but the office manager started the survey and it gave time for the administrator and the director of nursing or clinical manager to get to the office. So with this information, the surveyor can start immediately. Keep this binder and we're gonna talk about what it needs to have. Keep it updated for accuracy. You know, a lot of times your surveying organization will give you a list of things that you need to have to be prepared. And in some organizations that are accreditation bodies, they'll say, you need to sign off on this, that you're ready and you have all this information. So utilize those, those lists and have them in your survey binder. At minimum, you need a list of current patients with their names, when did they start their care, and who's seeing them, what services are provided. Is it a nurse, therapist, whatever it happens to be, make sure that that's on that list. Most of your softwares will produce this kind of list. Mm -hmm.